comics from a creator. So for most of the quarantine, um, actually for the last four years, uh, I've been using a, a Wacom, Wacom Intuos drawing tablet um, for my PC setup. So when I'm working in Photoshop, uh, I, I usually draw using the tablet. And um, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. I think it served me well for a long time. The, different, the distance between the screen and the tablet, like drawing between the two, hasn't been like a huge issue for me. But this whole quarantine, I feel like, I've been feeling like I'd like an upgrade. I wanted one that wasn't too expensive because you know, as much as we all want Cintiqs, um, they're a tad bit expensive and a bit out of my price range. But um, after looking at a lot of reviews, I've decided to um, go for the XP Pen Artist 22E Pro, which is um, I think less than a third of the price of the equivalent Cintiq. Uh, that I wanted. So this video is gonna be um, just a little bit of an unboxing video uh, and maybe a first impressions. Um, we'll just open it up, set it up, and uh, maybe draw something. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. Let's get to it. All right, so um, this is my setup, my general setup. Uh, here is Old Faithful. I've had this since 2005, I think. So um, this Intuos is, I mean, it still works really well. I mean, the, the nibs on the pen are all worn out at this point. I think I've replaced it a couple of times, but it still works really good. And, um, you know, still good to keep around. Wacom products, you know, say what you want about their price, but damn, they last. I've got this now. So here's a little uh, monitor arm that I picked up for cheap on Amazon. And that's what I'm gonna put the thing on. So let's um, let's grab it and let's unbox it. Actually, it's kind of big, so I'm gonna make some space first. And uh, okay, that should be good. All right, here we go. Ooh, I don't really have space for this. Oh wait, okay. So there's a smaller box inside. Come. Okay. Let's get rid of this. But I really wanted something big to draw, you know, kind of like a synthetic, just to get that feeling. The problem is that you know, the synthetics are like, like, you know, two thousand upwards of that um, dollars. So that's just ridiculous. I can't handle that. This is uh, much more reasonably priced. It's like a little Matryoshka doll. Looks like there's some boxes within boxes. Really pretty. This is super cool. <laughs> wow, the packaging is like professional. Let's see what we have here. So it's a 22 inch screen and um, it's got 16 shortcut keys designed for convenience and efficiency, blah blah blah. Uh, there's art software that goes with it. Okay, okay, let's start this. Another box within the box, and this has some cool stuff. It's got the XP Pen glove. That's dope. Cables. Uh, this looks like a, a VGA cable. Who's gonna use this? Oh, VGA cable. We've got a power cable. This looks like a power brick. 
we've got the XP Titan, more cables, more cables. The thing has got this really beautiful XP pen sarcophagus, I want to say. Cool. Look at that. And then here are some extra nibs. Good to like have around in case you want to travel with this thing, right? Okay, so that's like the super tense part over. This is it. You have to take off the protective film. So let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna read the literature first, but um, we'll get back. All right, so um, this is the setup. Um, I. It took me maybe 30 minutes um, to figure everything out. I was going back and forth on whether I should use the arm and in the end I decided to just, you know, um, keep it with the accompanying stand. It, it feels really sturdy, so I like it a lot. Uh, and um, whereas the arm didn't go too far, this lets um, the tablet get really close to the edge of the table. And I really like that because, you know, I like getting in um, this close and just being able to work um, at this distance. Uh, there is a quick latch release button which allows you to sort of modulate um, the angles at which it's being viewed. So if I wanted this to be like a secondary monitor, I can just like put it up like that and place it that far. And if I needed it to be, you know, like a drawing pad again, just quick release and move it forward. Um, takes a little bit of getting used to, but I think it's really, it's really cool. I'm excited to use it. So um, I guess let's start by doing some tests. Um, yeah, let's do some tests. All right, I'm speeding this up a bit, uh, but right now I'm doing a quick Batman sketch just to get a general feel for the pen. It feels really good, good pen pressure, no parallax. Not quite as good as the iPad Pro, but close enough. Next up, I'm gonna do a bit of fast hatching and see if I can't replicate a known issue with the XP Pen 22E. And uh, there it is. You can see it fish hooking at the end of a stroke when you go too fast. Uh, it's not a big issue, but it's something to be aware of. Kind of a speed limit when you're doing manual cross hatching. Um, that's feeling really good. I'm really excited and everything seems to be checking out really well. Um, I've got the software up right now. It's got, um, you know, options for configuring the pressure mode, um, pressure sensitivity, and um, for changing basically what you've programmed into the Express Keys. I'm not a huge Express Keys fan. Uh, I'm really more of a keyboard guy because I've, I've sort of memorized a lot of the Photoshop shortcuts over the years. Uh, but I might get those little stickers and like label these express keys. There's a bunch of stuff that might come in handy. Let's say, you know, I don't know, for some reason, like I get out of the habit of using the keyboard and just like focus on having all my programming stuff here. And voila, through the magic of video editing, um, I've managed to put some stickers on the express keys. So uh, I'm gonna be using this uh, and really putting it through its paces over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I think I have like a month before, um, you know, uh, my returnability policy runs out. So until then, I'm really gonna make sure um, I made a good purchase here. Uh, anyway, this is just my first impressions video. First impressions are the screen is great. I love the big screen and I like the matte screen protector. Uh, two, the pen is really good uh, and you know, it's despite the fish hooking, which I can live with, I can deal with, um, it feels really comfortable and you can do a lot of solid work with it. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, on my next video, I'm gonna do a full on Batman drawing. So watch out for that. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider giving me a like and a subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified when I put a new video out. 
which is usually every Friday. Um, I had a bit of a break since my last video, but I'm back and I'm back strong. So yeah, expect more regular updates from here on out. Uh, and yeah, hope you all have a good one, guys. Until next time, peace. I know we're acting stupid. Blooper. This is a blooper. It's a blooper and it's just nonsense that I put at the end of the video just to have some stuff over there. Bloop. Please subscribe.